Hello. We're coming back by Lotus workshops and some new videos how to adjust the rollers and the shafts. This is all rollers and stations. This machine can do any four tooling stands and the designs like this. So we have a center line here. And in our center line, we have a distance to left and right. And here, we make a one fire from 24 stations to one. And our engineering hero is making the adjustment for left and right step by step. We have it. We have the remote control. Okay. And this knot is losing by this way and tightening by that way. So if we lose here, we tight other side, it means we put pull all rollers in this side because here has a gap. And other side, we push all rollers to the other side. So one, after we put our rollers and the spacer on the tooling stand, we need to make sure our rollers are in the center line gaps. From here, you can see we put one wire here. And we start From the second tooling because it's already in the center up and down is already well adjusted so we go to two three four and now we're reaching to number 10. this is the way you should learn how to adjust your rollers on your shaft And from the position, I show you the gap. Switching drive by gears has a 24 stations, and slowly by slowly adjust the gap. center line we tighten the both sides and now we're checking the angle and we check the side check it. You can, you can. We, we check the distance from our wires and our measuring tools Shall be changed and lift it to right, right or left. This line, the center line, should be exactly in between the middle of both rollers. Just put this uh, camera here. Break again. Firstly, we're losing the not right side because the all roller come to this side. We're losing here like a one millimeter, and as you can see, the roller got some gap here. Here. Trying to put the gap here. Yeah. 
other side you tighten the knot, then you push all the rollers on the other side. So now you the gauge, measure the size. As you can see, from this side and other side. Seems it's it need a little more, maybe one minute more. So we tight the other side. So we're losing this knot and we make sure the gap that we make between the roller and the spacer. As you can see this gap is almost 1.5 millimeters and the roller got a gap here. Other side, we should try to end that. If we tie the other side, this gap will be gone. One more time. Firstly, we make the wire from middle of the first stations to your last stations. It's on the drawing. We have a wire here and we have a center line. We have a center line here. And we, we know the left and right side you know, center lines. So after we put this line and we make sure it's in the center of the from first roller and last roller, we start to adjust the rollers based on this wire. This wire should be as thin as possible. I like this mirror, like look at this mirror, you can see all worker in the mirror as well.
I don't want to move my camera. I don't want to go to other place. This really important point. You can get it by this video. And I stand here for almost teach you how to change the rollers and adjust the gap. Firstly, check the upside gap by any tools that you can get. It's the size of the We should adjust the up rollers. And before that, I want to tell you some key points. You make sure that all the space that you put is correct. Because if one of the spacer you in the stall is on correct size width, all adjusting is you you're doing is really useless. roller after we check doesn't need any adjustment it's in the proper position so we're just going to down roller and adjust it this side we should lose this tight lose this knot and we, put, we tight other side to put our roller in this drawing for our rollers and the spaces between the rollers before you before you're going to change and adjust the rollers gap you should make sure all the rollers in a start properly all the shaft and the stands is installed in the drawing position then we're going to adjust it. Don't forget we are from Lotus. The only Lotus, the only roll forming machine manufacturer who try and teach you to build your adjust it and run your business in best way this line carry 24 tuning stand with one flying cutting and it's really a special design and it has a run out table automatic cycle 